for real. So cute. I hope they get the house done on time. Just I say what I guess. And I'm not gonna lie, it felt different. What's up, guys? So. Excited to dive in, find myself a career. I'm home alone with the boys, watching Jane the Virgin. Snacking on some cactus, cause you know, healthy life. <laughs> Is this from the Morbella gift shop? Watching Jane, Jane the Virgin, the boys are asleep. Jonathan went to the doctor's appointment. It's okay. I miss her too. Ya nos acostumbraremos. Yep. Called it. First two RSVPs, mom and abuela. Oh, good. There's Jade. I was missing her too. Okay, don't hate me. I think the wall wants to be a shade lighter. Oh my god, yes. I was thinking the same thing too, but I didn't want to say anything. No, we want it to be perfect. Let's repaint this afternoon. Eggshell. Or Matt. Eggshell. And can I just say, you sound so sexy when you talk home decor. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Because I was thinking about a mirror Stop. in the entryway. Keep talking. A bowl of lemon. Uh -huh. Table for a pop of color. Mm. Just take off your pants right now. Mm. Oh shoot, my dad's gonna be here soon. So no. So hurry. Mm. Is your dad gonna walk in? Her dad's gonna walk in, isn't he? Mm. Ever since Michael got shot, I've been waiting to see when he dies. Oh, I know he dies. Guess we'll have a very special meeting with tomorrow. Amanda from my writer's group? But more importantly, Amanda, the author of... This is a really wonderful but... Hang on, Jack. You're coming to the film, Logan McMurray. Redo. I'm not even gonna show mix, but they were all looking like nasty. Overall, so and the ones that the ones that look good didn't have cashews and I wanted cashews. And hopefully, at the end of our meeting, Amanda will agree. Dad, you're not planning on sleeping with me. I got veggie straws too. No, of course not. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Again. You guys know this whole container is only sure. 160 calories. And speaking of sexy times. And all under you need my water. This would have been so good with some fancy. Handsome. Obviously. Do we call Will at least two, considering blackmail? I can do that ever with Marbella. Oh my gosh, you guys. Good stuff. Right when. Hey, and. Right when Petra was about to hit her. Got to turn this nurse button, you know, when you're like you're at your edge of your chair, and then she gets the shot again and she can't move again. Oh, don't worry. Last week, I threatened to cancel Jane's mom's gig unless she publicly backed the Flamingo Initiative. What the hell is the Flamingo Initiative? So, guys, we're damn near sold out for our first theme night, Flamingo Friday. So, Jonathan's tooth was hurting him. It's been hurting him for like the past oh, month. Wow, how fun! Super fun, exactly. Thank you. Jay. And he finally found Guys, we're just an appointment no shirts, pink bow ties. Just really today, so that had to On that pushed my college appointment. So, ships are gonna be so I have to move that again. Wait, what? Don't gripe. It's economical. You'll make more bank. No, we won't, because service will be terrible. Well, it's happening. Deal with it. This is ridiculous. You need to talk to your baby daddy. You know his mother just died. Fine. Your sister wife. You need to, because her creepy boy toy is out of control. It's actually in Washington. Sorry, we had to fly to Long, Long Beach and then from Long, Long Beach on. to I'm Seattle. But yeah, thank God I got it. I, know have been I start weeks. next week. Is what I said. On the 21st. Yeah, when we fought for the wedding. A reminder. Oh, okay. This guy has no idea what she's talking about. Yes. Exactly. And I get that. I, I do. I mean, it was awful of me to imply that I think that I'm a better person than you. Even just hearing it again 
was a shock. Yeah, but you remember what was going on. Not that true. Of course. And I don't want to rehash it. So let's just steer clear of each other. What? Do I have to be explicit, Jane? I don't like you. I never have liked you. Our babies share a father, that's it. Okay, you know what? Fine with me. I'm done trying with you. You're toxic. Poison. Most likely administer a transdermal. <laughs> Could have been someone who bumped into your mother. Got it. I appreciate the update. Anything come to mind at all? Why she would leave you that Bible? No idea. Yeah. Your mother wasn't religious. She was a homicidal maniac. I'm sorry. I just we went put this whole thing behind me. I on Friday, we had to no drive back and pick up all of our stuff. Frankly. And basically finish moving out here. So we just got back on Monday. So we're officially moved. But thank God. I'm starting already. It's oh. actually not painful. I'm fine, okay? Okay. Stoked about okay. that. What do you think? I think it's perfect. I love our house. Me too. Me three! What about you, Mateo? Mm -hmm. You excited to grow up here? Listen to stories in that room? Come in late. After curfew through that door. <laughs> okay, you got home. Hey, right at home here. Excuse me. What are you doing? Barging into our house? Yeah, this definitely isn't your house. <gasps> no. Who the hell are you people? We have to move uh, back. Okay, do not swear in front of my baby. Bittersweet. What's going on? I manage this property. And we rent this property. But how come I have no idea who you are? Um, it's we not a big change because we first... If the place isn't for rent, should we? No, we were both rent. born and I'm raised in Kelly. And then my family moved to Washington. When Jonathan and we had barely got Jonathan and I had barely gotten together. My family and I moved to Washington. And then... Yeah, she does. So we moved out here to Washington, and then um, I finished high school here, and as soon as I finished high school, I moved back with Jonathan, and then <laughs> Jonathan and I, a couple weeks before we found out that we were having our baby girl, moved over here because my mom had a good job for us out here, and then <laughs> um, when Isaac was like three months old, we moved back to Cali with Jonathan's brother because he had a good... Um, Government job for him. No, 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 no. And Good luck. now we're moving back. But you're not really a value add. Amanda. Wow. How fun it's been catching up and hearing all about your jet set life. But you want to talk about the movie? Well, hopefully this is the last move because moving is a struggle. That's your daughter's boyfriend, right? Huh? Yeah. I'm happy to be back around my mom. X. He's a real uh, And we're getting away from all those toxic people, so we were happy about that. Jonathan was actually pretty stoked as well, although his family stayed behind. I wanted to ask you, but now I'm thinking, Raphael. Excuse me. It would make me very and those vicious charity bitches were very jealous. Tough choice. On the one hand, he's just been insulted to his core. On the other hand... Mm. Of course. They kind of really don't care. More than to set you up. Like I've told you guys before, they're, I don't know. Gorgeous friend. No, oh, it's okay. At least we're being interactive. <laughs> but yeah, they don't. They don't really care. I mean, can I help you with something? Soon, worthy looks. They don't really have much to say about it, honestly. Are a prince among men, Rafael Solano, which is one of the many reasons I consider you to be a very good friend. Tell you what, Raleo. The woman I was eating lunch with will decide my American fate. Either she will cast me as a slow, sexy baker, or I will wallow away in obscurity. And all she requires that is good. a date with you. Are you trying to pin me out? Absolutely not. No sex required. Though if the spirit moves you. <laughs> we met, we moved back in with my mom. Like I said. Still not working the realtor? Uh, 
we had plans, and then, like, everyone started screwing us over all at once. So, almost all of our plans fell through. And when my mom told me, you know, when my mom told me about the job openings over here, she, she wanted us to move back in with her. Plus, it, it would have been extra hard to move out here, finding a place, like moving out here to a place. So we're actually looking for like a bigger house with my mom so we can like continue to live with her. That way it'll be easier for her to watch like the boys while I'm at work. But Jonathan still hasn't found a job. He applied, he's been applying and now he's thinking of going into the army, so... That's still in the works, we're not sure yet. But with the job that I got right now, we should be okay, we should be good. Yeah, thank you. Thank God we're, you know, we're not struggling as much. Yeah, I mean, we're in a better place with better people. I mean, it was just too hostile. And it was just, I don't know, too much. But thank God, you know, we're seeing the light. We're getting through it. Abuela, be supportive. I'm not looking for passion. I'm still singing. Right now, the boys are asleep. I'm probably gonna take advantage and get up and start making lunch. Servers to management, or else we walk a walkout. Scott is a dictator. A revolution is afoot. Conditions are untenable. Come on. If yeah. You sign, I the he has a lot of friends that are in the army, and he was talking to one yesterday, yeah. and he told him the same thing. You know, he told okay. him. I'll sign, but I'm gonna give which her branches her. were more? Right there, um, hereby and here to were harder to get into oh and which ones were harder on you guy, he and he was telling us that you know it's a really long process and that getting into boot camp not even starting boot camp but getting into boot camp alone the least amount of time that he should look towards would be three months just to look into it but um we found a recruiter out here and we might go talk to the recruiter recruiter she's the one who's paying half your rent what? Yeah, it's so hard, and, you know, thinking of the army and all the benefits that they give you and your family, like, obviously, that's probably why most people do want to get into it. And we found a recruiter over here that we're probably going to go talk to. He's still trying to figure out what he would want to get into first. Yeah. I don't know. They're all big choices. Well, by my standards, it's a very small house. But yes, you got me high up. Bought in the house. Well, you mean rented? It's the same word. Yeah, really good I mean, benefits. Not, I was a gesture, and like he was looking into the. He was thinking about the Air Force yeah, this, this morning, awkward. and they hit all of his benefits you would, you know, payments. carry on to me as well. So if they would were to pay for his schooling, they would pay for mine as well, and I don't even have to That's be in it. When you called me a bad person, I was I was so angry, and then I went to start paying again, but initially I felt ill, and oh, well, look, Michael and I obviously get yeah. what you pay for it, but the gesture was He's so still thinking about it. He's kind. really determined now because, you know, when you're in a struggle, you're really willing to do anything. Deep down. Doesn't yeah. And so what could she say but? Of course. Scott and I would be happy to come dinner. And what could she say but? Right. Scott, but Yeah, it's you. a big sacrifice. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, Isaiah is awake. I'll um, probably talk to you guys to you later. I'll probably get on later. Let me go take care of my bubba. Bye. Thank you for watching, Ange.